In this Skill Builder video, we're in Adobe Acrobat, and I'm going to show you how to combine multiple files into a single PDF. To do so, when you first open Acrobat, you typically see this screen here, this dialog box, that gives you a list of recently opened files and a choice for getting started. One of the choices is combining files into a single PDF. I'm pointing to it here. Or you could go to the Create button and choose Combine Files into a Single PDF. Either way, you get this dialog box. Within it, I can choose to add files and then go to the folder that I know contains the files I want. In this case, I want two Photoshop training outlines. So I'll click them using the control key to select multiple files and click open. Now they're listed here in the Combine Files dialog box. I can select them individually and use the Move Up button to move them up in order because the first one, in this case now Photoshop for Photographers, that will now be page one. If I change my mind, I can click Move Down, and now that's the second page in the potential PDF that I'm about to create. The point of doing this would be if I want to send two separate outlines to a customer, but I want to send them a single PDF. So now I can combine these two outlines for the two types of Photoshop training workshops we offer and click Combine Files. Now before I do that, these little icons in the lower right hand corner, these affect the quality of the PDF you generate. They generate PDFs that are best viewed online, the smallest icon, that are okay for printing at a business quality, or at the largest size, the largest size icon, which generates the largest file, something that's suitable for printing on desktop printers or to send to a commercial printer. The bigger the icon, the bigger the file, and the higher the quality of the output. If you know someone's just going to open it on screen after receiving it as an email attachment, you can stick to the smaller size. That too will allow it to be small enough to be emailed. Once you've got all your files selected and in the right order, click Combine Files, and you get your combined document. If I go to the Pages button here, you'll see that I have a two-page document, and Photoshop for Graphic Designers appears before page two, Photoshop for Photographers. By default, it's called a binder. But if I want to give it a simpler name, I can choose File, Save As, PDF, and then name it. For example, I'll call it Photoshop Workshops, and click Save. Now I have a new file called Photoshop Workshops that's a combination of what was two separate PDFs.